Just when you thought it couldn't get any bigger or better, the November to the Remember moves on here. In Sean's view, entertainment news, rumors, headlines, speculation, gossip, hearsay, we bring it all, we provide it all because this is your one-stop destination for all your WWE on location multiple times a day. Remember to tell your friends, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your sisters, your brothers, your aunts, tell your family, tell everyone you know, every last little friend you know, that Sean's View Entertainment is going to keep you in the loop. Ladies and gentlemen, after a tremendous, after a captivating, a shocking return, a shocking turn of events on the blue brand of SmackDown tonight brings us to this. Now, we all know that the Survivor Series is quickly approaching. We also know that we got one more Raw and one more SmackDown to go. But we also know this, that the story is going to keep getting involved. The story is going to keep developing. It's going to keep getting more in-depth. And that is what we're here to do to talk about right here in this very video on the Brash and the Brazen. Now, we know in the WWE Tag Team Division right now, it's not as strong as it used to be on SmackDown, but it's all right. It's okay. It's decent enough because we all know right now that the Motor City Machine Guns are your reigning WWE Tag Team Champions. That's what we know. But what you don't, what you may not know is what's about to go down and what's about to transpire because according to the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, after what we got last night on SmackDown and we saw exactly the advancements of storylines, we got the advancements of storylines as it pertains to a tag team of the bloodline, the original bloodline, Roman Reigns, and then you have CM Punk on the same side at the same damn time. Now, you know, make no mistake about it, there's no love lost between Roman Reigns and CM Punk. It's no secret that they are not friends. They will not be exchanging Christmas cards. They will not, not be exchanging presents, not by a long shot. But what they may very well be exchanging is the WWE Tag Team Championships. Now, of course... According to the, the dirt sheets, the websites, the newsletters, according to sources in the know, Roman Reigns and CM Punk are going to capture the WWE Tag Team titles on the road to the Royal Rumble. Because this whole storyline with the Bloodline and WrestleMania, this is all going to tie in with the, uh, with the fake Bloodline. You know, Roman Reigns and CM Punk. Now imagine this for one moment. Roman Reigns is getting set up for the spear. But first, CM Punk does a GTS and then the GTS into a spear. So imagine that. CM Punk has the guy up in the G GTS. Bam! Nails the GTS. The guy turns around, runs right into a spear. One, two, three. Brand new WWE Tag Team Champions. Now, again, this is how the story is supposed to unfold. According to rumors, again, plans can change. It can always go in a completely different direction. Okay? Make no mistake about that. But... What would you think about Roman Reigns and CM Punk becoming the brand new WWE Tag Team Champions? Would you be for it or would you be against it? Now, something else that I got to bring to the attention of everybody on here is we have a lot more news and rumors to discuss, a lot more breaking news. Two more matches has been added to Full Gear The Zero Hour. This just coming across my desk right now. Jake Paul reacts to Conor McGregor losing his rape case. Fans believe that Paul Heyman will turn heel on Roman Reigns due to his outfit, due to the black and red that Paul Heyman was wearing. And as the moment unfolded, Roman Reigns and CM Punk shared a moment right in the middle of the ring. Do you think Paul Heyman is going to turn heel on Roman Reigns at the Survivor Series? Is Paul Heyman going to join the fake bloodline that would be a hell of a turn of, of events? The full card has been revealed for tonight's pay-per-view, AEW, full gear. Will you be watching it? Will you be seeing it? It was on this day in 2014 that Sting made his WWE debut at the Survivor Series. Your thoughts, your comments, and your immediate reactions to that. Conor McGregor is also reacting to losing the rape case. I am disappointed that the jury did not hear all the evidence. Gigi Dolan returned from last night's injury at last night's NXT WWE event. Remember to like, comment, and interact to become a channel member today. Also, AEW is set to ring in 2025 with a historic Max simulcast event. The internal reaction to Steve Macklin's vignette airing on TNA 
revealed. What did you think about it? For those of you that may be TNA fans out there, your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. The closing match for AEW Full Gear has been revealed online. Possible spoiler for the AEW Full Gear 2024 title match can be found online. Tony Storm is set for an imminent return to AEW following her brief retirement. We kind of saw that one coming. Kevin Owens is getting big props internally after recent WWE promo work. Your thoughts and your comments on Kevin Owens or the former Kevin Steen, as some of you may remember him as, an ROH Ring of Honor. Also, former WWE star Baron Corbin wins the silver at the IBJF, JJF, Tampa International Open. So Baron Corbin still, still doing big things outside of WWE. Bailey drags Indy Hartwell following WWE departure. I guess she couldn't hack it. What did you think about the return of Shinsuke Nakamura with a new entrance theme on SmackDown last night? Do you think Shinsuke Nakamura is going to rebuild momentum on the blue brand? Or do you think Shinsuke Nakamura will just be lost in the shuffle once again? Jade, Car Jade Cargill's SmackDown attack tied to a legitimate injury. Yes, Jade Cargill is hurt. She's not 100%. Uh, we're going to get right into this right now. Actually, we got breaking news on Jade Cargill, ladies and gentlemen. It was uh, intimidated to fight for that. Jade Cargill angles to cover a legitimate injury. We're working to conform, conform, confirm that this revelation has raised even more questions about the power status future of WWE and how long she has, may actually be sidelined. The SmackDown, each, uh, fi the SmackDown angle featured Cargill sprawled out on the car, visibly bloodied and surrounded by shattered glass. WWE later issued a storyline medical update listing her injuries as deep lumbar muscle contusions, a bruised kidney, a sprained MCL in her right knee. Um, and, you know, I'll tell you what, there is currently no timetable for her return. While this development left Cargill out of the WWE Women's United States title tournament, her absence has created a whirlwind of speculation. A mystery competitor is set to replace her in the upcoming triple threat match against Mission and Piper Niven. Additionally, her status for Survivor Series War Games match is now up in the air, adding more intrigue to one of the WWE's biggest events of the year. If the report from SAP is accurate, this could mean a significant delay in Cargill's highly anticipated push in WWE. So obviously, Jay Cargill's WWE future just got a whole lot murk murk uh, murkier. With this latest update, if the SmackDown attack really is a cover-up for a legitimate injury, the timetable for her return could be anyone's guess. Whether this slows her meteoric rise or sets the stage for an epic comeback, one thing is for sure, Cargill's story is far from over. What do you think about this massive development? And could this injury spell trouble for Jade Cargill's WWE career? And what is going to be the future of the women's WWE Tag Team Championships? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. So obviously this is pivotal, this is vital. Um, this is obviously not what Jade Cargill wanted or Bianca Belair. So you got to wonder, now, what is the future of the Women's Tag Team Championships? Obviously, this throws a whole new spin on things, but not for the better. Your thoughts, who took out Jade Cargill? Who did it? Is it somebody on Raw, SmackDown, or NXT? Or is it somebody from TNA making and looking for a splash in the women's division. Subscribe. Plenty more to come where we keep you in the know on the fastest, the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the most in-depth, Sean's View Entertainment. Plenty more to come. Stay locked on and stay tuned to this channel hourly.